Welcome pike anglers, carp anglers, fishermen alike, welcome to Chasing Chunks TV. If you're new to this channel, you've not seen me before, then it would be greatly appreciated if you subscribe to my channel. Just in the corner there, you'll see a little green icon. And if you click on that, then come and subscribe to my channel. It would be really appreciated. Now, as you know, or if you are new to my channel, you haven't seen it before. I've been doing quite a lot of pike angling over the uh, winter with Lewis and I wanted to continue and explore that a little bit more going forward on my channel do a lot more videos and with that I wanted to streamline some of my gear I've been using my rucksack and a carp foldable unhooking mat but it is bulky you know that you're carrying it so I've been and bought a shoulder bag from Savage Gear which I'll probably do a review of a little bit later on once I've used it for a bit and I've also wanted a noise compact on hooky mat as well so I've taken to the Facebook groups asked the groups for their opinions uh, a couple have come back and I've gone off and looked at them and today my decision and what I thought has literally just dropped through the door and I eventually went with SP Pro Freestyle Light Mat. Now that is barely bigger than my hand. It's 12 centimeters when it's all folded up like this and the biggest selling point for me over the others was this clip that I can just clip onto my bag some of the others that I was looking at had D-rings on, so I'd have to go out and get an extra clip. But this one had it, was included. It was lovely, nice and compact. And yeah, that was the big selling point for me. Now, let me just open this up and show you the mat. Now it's finished in a nice polyester finish. So if you get any uh, fish slime on there or any dirt, so you can uh, wash it off and once it's open it's 80 centimeters long by 45 and let's be honest you can put the biggest of pike on there perch to be fair you'll be able to put even a decent sized carp on there as well now obviously you know you're not going to have full protection with something so compact but I'd rather have a little bit of protection than no protection at all and you'll be able to get the fish's body off the towel paths or off the hard uh, flooring so having a little bit of protection is what I've opted for with a mat so yeah I'm really pleased with my purchase you've got a nice little ruler on there as well so you can see the length of your capture and again how compact it was over the others and how it all nicely folded up clipped onto my bag is why i went with this unlucky mat now let me just fold this up obviously i haven't done it before so just how easy it is it is absolutely superb and again you're off you're fishing again and obviously you don't even notice that on your bag it's that light and small and compact cost i uh, got this from harry sports mail for a fraction over 18 pounds that sort of price then let's be honest you, you can get some lures that are more expensive than that so great price and i think if you go onto their uh, web page sign up to their newsletter you get another five percent off as well so i just wanted to pick up the video and just show you this product and show you some of the things that i'm going to be buying and i'll probably do a couple more videos like this so sp pro freestyle light mat you'll probably see me using it throughout the year uh, but for now thank you for watching stay safe and hopefully i'll see you on the bank sometime with a video in hand doing a V-blog. 
Take care, care guys. Wet nets, tight lines. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.